Hi guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. Today I'm going to be talking about alternatives to the most basic luxury purchases you can make. I'm just trying to minimise the level of basic that we've been seeing. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Fridays, sometimes Mondays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably going to love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. So in this video, I will be offering up alternatives to those basic items, okay? That have the good parts of those basic items, but aren't so basic, okay? I've also tried to make sure that they are within the same price range, and everything I mention will be linked below. One of the most basic luxury purchases that you can make are the Socate Louboutins. Most likely in a black renewed. You've seen them, I've seen them, we've all seen them. Why are people buying these? Obviously half of the appeal is, is that they're a pair of sodding lubes, okay? And people want the red bottom flex. But Louboutin has such a wide range of much more exciting heels, okay? That give you some personality, that make you stand out from the crowd of other so Kates. First one here is the Louboutin Cosmo 554 in patent leather, okay? So you still have that pointed business going on, You, but you've got a little bit of PVC, a little bit of cutouts, a little bit of gold detailing, okay? She's interesting, she's exciting. You still get the attributes of the So Kate, why so many people like that style, but she's a little bit more fun, she's a little bit more exciting, a little bit more unexpected. Another option is the Gala TV, I think that's what it's called, which basically is very similar, but with mesh. And again, something a little bit interesting, something a little bit unexpected, but you still get to the core of the So Kate. But if actually you really like the pointy black shoe vibe situation happening, and you're not so bothered about the lube flex, then have a look at the Malone Soulier, I think that's how I pronounce it, Maureen shoes. They do these in so many colorways. The Alexander Wang Rena Slingback is hugely underrated. I love that shoe. Actually, I need to add it to my wish list because I'm here for it. You have the slingback, but you have these little silver studs around the toe that again, give it an edge, give it something a little bit more exciting. Another kind of similar shoe is the Jimmy Choo Babette crystal embellished pumps. And they're a similar kind of thing, but instead of studs, they're crystals. So have a look at those. Let's try and make things a little bit more exciting than, you know, the old So Kate's. Basic item number two, you knew she was coming, the Gucci Marmont belt. I have dragged this item through the mud a number of times on my channel. I'm not gonna do it again today, but I am going to tell you other sodding wonderful belts. Firstly, just wanna start off by saying that literally any other brand does belts that um, are not as saturated as this one, but I have some wonderful options for you today. Kicking us off with the Valentino V logo leather belt. Look, if you like the appeal of the Gucci Marmont belt because it's leather belt, but you've got a bit of a bang with the logo buckle there, this Valentino one is fabulous. Not only can you get her in the black with the gold, you can get a full monochrome look going on there. I just think that this one is a little bit more under the radar, but still gives you that like logo flex that you might want from the Gucci Marmont. Versace also has two glorious options, okay? If again you want a logo flex, they do the Palazzo belt where you've got the Medusa there, just like, ooh, just sparkling in the light, letting everyone know, mm, I live for it. But they also do the Baroque buckle, where if you want more of a buckle belt, you know, where the thing goes through the hole and, ooh, a lot of things that go through holes. Where, you know, you have that kind of buckle situation, then this is also one which is a bit of a statement, but again, goes with everything. My final option here, if you want something a little bit more low key, is the Saint Laurent monogram belt. They do these in a number of colours as well. But again, you have a square buckle, you've got a little, little YSL logo in the corner there, just, just glinting in the light. And again, not everyone has these, but you still get a little bit of a logo flex, fun, exciting, way better than the Gucci Marmont. Next basic item, Alexander McQueen oversized sneakers. We have a number of alternatives here. Now, I'm assuming the appeal of these shoes is that they are all white, they're clean, they go with everything, but you still have like, you know, that kind of chunky aspect going on. 
Another thing that might also be an appeal is that you've got the different colours. Is that you've got the different colours at the back here. You can choose whichever colour you want, kind of thing. So you get like a little bit, a little bit of a pop, but everything else is pretty clean. If you love the platform aspect, this is a brand that I don't really talk about on this channel because you know it's not my vibe, but I give credit where credit is due. And that is the Chloe, Chloe leather scalloped sneaker. Mm-hmm. Look who came to play zero games, you know? Overlooked, definitely worth a look. Very similar vibe, but not a sodding Alexander McQueen oversized sneaker. You know what I'm saying? Okay, another one that kind of popped up. The Alexandra, I don't know how to pronounce this poor person's name. Alex, Alexandre, Alexandra Beerman Clarita sneaker. Wow, she got like a suede bow situation happening there. And I think that once again, same price range, fabulous option. Off the radar, still a flex, we love. If, if you're kind of not so into the platform vibe, then another two options are the Givenchy Urban Street sneaker. They have these little like knots on the back. And to be honest, they were doing this far before before the McQueens. Um, they do them in like an orange, a red. Again, super classic, goes with everything. Another pair are the Versace Illus trainers. Um, again, very laid back, very classic vibe, goes with everything situation. The next basic piece. The sodding never full. I get the appeal. Throw in and go, huge, fits everything, on the shoulder, live your best life, hard wearing. And also, full of logos. Full of logos, but functional. I get it, I understand it. But what about the Gucci Ophidia GG Medium Tote? Benefits of this bag as well, you still get that vibe, you still get that similar shape to the Neverfull, full of logos. So you're still logo flexing out here, letting everybody know. Coated canvas situation, hard wearing but slightly thicker arm straps because those arm straps can eat into the bone, let me tell you, and has a zip, which that does not have. So definitely worth a look. The other bag that a lot of people go on about and is better value for money because it's all leather is the Saint Laurent shopping bag. Inside pouch, comes in um, quite a few different colors. So that one's worth looking at. And another option is the Goyard Saint Louis tote. Very, very similar bag. Oddly, more bougie, okay? And I don't know if it's because they don't sell online and stuff like that, they are around the same price, the Neverfull and the St. Louis bag. Comes in some fabulous colorways. So, you know, you don't always have to resort to the Neverfull. The last basic luxury item that I am sick to death of my eyeballs seeing uh, is the Gucci Marmont bag, okay? Now, this one, there are two favorites that everybody loves. You've got the camera bag version with the kind of zip across the top, or you've got the flat version, okay? And both are very different price points. I'm very proud of myself um, because the alternative I've come up with here is so similar, yet so much better. The Prada Diagram quilted bags. Not only do they also have a camera bag version and a flat version, but the flex is so much harder, people. Firstly, you still get that kind of quilted vibe with the Prada one. Also, you still get the same chain situation. All leather, you have the hardware popping on there. This alternative is just so much better, comes in a few different colors, far less people have this bag, and she is just a glorious alternative. Let me know what you thought of my remedies to the basic um, in the comments. I'm going to link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it and you're not quite finished with me yet. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. This one was a bit slow. I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.